we are sitting in, um, uh, we chose a position for Harlem and we came to meet and greet with her and like tour the um, facility and we're waiting on her to, we're waiting on her to come in. We're waiting on her to finish up with a patient to come in and meet with us. Um, the office is very clean. The, the um, lobby when you walk in, it was decorated and, you know, Christmas stuff. They got, um, they sprayed the wall to make it look like, like it's a uh, kind of frosty, like for Christmas and stuff. It's so cute. Um, each room has like a theme. Like we are in a, uh, I guess a U.S. Navy room. So there's like paintings on the wall. Each room has a painting. Very clean office, very, very clean. Office. So we're waiting to meet her. Um, I know one of our, one of our main questions was, uh, are they okay with vaccinations? So I know a lot of um, parents, you know, and doctors are like anti, you know, vaccinations, but, we are not, so we just uh, wanted to make sure that the doctor that we chose were going to be, um, were going to support our decisions. Um, not, ne not necessarily that she has to be, you know, anti or pro vaccinations. I, we just don't want her to um, kind of talk us out of, we want her to be supportive of our decisions, point blank, period. Let me say that. So, um, the doctor we chose to come and meet, uh, I read about her. I actually, like, love what I read about her. Um, she is from the area that we are, that we live in. Um, she's fairly young, married, two kids herself, a boy and a girl. So, um... Yeah, I guess uh, we will be meeting her shortly. Also, today, after we leave here, I have a 33-week growth scan because we are 33 weeks and five days today. So I'm expecting Harlem to be at least a little close to four, you know, five pounds. So between four and five pounds, but closer to five. Closer to five. Um, we had our hospital tour the other day. Um, it was very very nice uh they showed us the room like one of the rooms that i would be in so because i'm having a c-section i would actually uh check in i'm checking in at 5 30 in the morning at labor and delivery i'm gonna go to a room then i uh you know get my iv started and all of that and then they'll take me back to do uh, the c-section at 7 30 a.m after the c-section is done i'll go back to my room to recover in my room for like an hour to two hours um, it would just be me harlem and corey um they'll do like vaccinations and uh get her blood work and stuff like that they'll do all of that in the room with us so she will never ever leave our site um unless she has to go to the NICU or the nursery for something so they did say that they kind of uh, are doing away with giving pacifiers to babies. So they did tell us that, um, you know, we should bring a pacifier if we plan on giving baby a pacifier, which um, they recommended that because I'm doing, I'm breastfeeding, that we don't give her a pacifier like right away um, to get her used to latching and breastfeeding before we introduce a pacifier to her. And I'm all for that. Um, but we are going to bring one for uh, to soothe her, like when they give her her shots and when they're trying to um, get blood work from her, because they have to prick her heel and get it from her heel. So um, we are going to bring it for that and that only. Um, really excited about uh, breastfeeding. I've actually joined a couple breastfeeding groups on Facebook. I have a breastfeeding. Um, class this saturday so i'm excited about that uh i'll come back with more information after our 33 week growth scan to share with you guys hmm. 
So, um, our girl skin, baby girl, um, weighed five pounds even, five pounds exactly. Um, we also during that scan, they did a biophysical profile. Um, those I will get those scans every week until delivery. Um, so there is a point system. She has to get eight out of eight. Um, if she does not pass the BPP, we have to go to the hospital, labor and delivery, and they will monitor me um, for a while. So um, it's called a non-stress test. So I have to do a non-stress test if she doesn't pass the biophysical profile. So um, she did get an eight out of eight during that appointment. So it's t it's a it's two points for um, practice breathing, two points for movement, two points for fluid levels, and two points for heart rate. So she passed, and uh, she is head down. Not that that you know really matters because I'm having a C-section, but she's head down. She's you know doing what she's supposed to be doing. Um, we are currently thirty four weeks and four days today, and we had our second uh, biophysical profile. And she passed again today, so she's doing great. We don't get another growth scan for another two weeks because they, they're going to give it every four weeks. So we'll have another growth scan in another two weeks. Um, I start my maternity leave in um, a week. Well, in two weeks as well. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to go on maternity leave. My stomach is starting to touch the steering wheel, so I'm not, you know, I'm not able to, like, continue to drive and all of that. So, and I was really hoping that that wouldn't happen. I was hoping that I wouldn't um, get to touching the steering wheel. But I, I told my husband today, maybe it's my coat because it's cold here, so it's wintertime. So I said, well, maybe it's my coat that I have on and um, the coat, the, the extra poofiness in, in the back. Maybe it's like pushing me up to the steering wheel a little bit. So I'm in denial about my stomach touching to the steering wheel. I'm sorry. I don't think it's the fact that I'm, you know, that big. I think it's my coat. But whatever. Um, We did finish the nursery. So um, my next video will be revealing the nursery. I'm so happy with it. Big, huge shout out to my mother-in-law who helped all the way from New York. Um we took pictures like we would stick things on the wall with like tape or something like we would arrange it and then we would take pictures send it to her ask her what she thought just to keep her involved because this is her first grandchild and she's super excited and i mean i get it because my mama was this way with handsome because he was her first grandchild so um she's helped a a, a major major deal so that is all for now. I just wanted to give you guys an update on my growth, my first growth scan. Um, I have symptoms have come back. I do need to take a nap. Like I found myself like dozing off at my desk at work, which is another reason why I'm ready to go on maternity leave. So I found myself dozing off at my desk at work. And when I come home from work, I find myself like just falling asleep, like on the couch, in the bed, like where I just find myself falling asleep and I wake up and it's like, I'm thinking it's super late and it's really still early. And I'll be like, well, what time did I fall asleep? And why did you let me sleep? And, um, then I am nauseous after every time I eat something, I'm nauseous. And I have thrown up a few times, uh, to the point where I'm like, scared to eat certain things because um because of the way that they smell like it's it's all coming back i feel like i'm in my first trimester all over again so um i have tried to uptake or up my in my water intake because i'm starting to swell um and at this point in the pregnancy of course it's like it's normal, so my doctor's not worried about it as long as my blood pressure is, is under control, which I have started to check my blood pressure two to three times a day, um, simply because a few nights ago, it was like 145 over 91, and according to my doctor's office, 140 over 90 is considered um, high in pregnancy, so she wants me to start checking it 
uh, throughout the day. So I'm checking it two to three times a day, once in the morning when I when I get up, once when I come home from work, and then once before I go to bed. So um, it's been under the norm thus far, which is, you know, 120 over 80. It's been under the norm thus far up until a couple of days ago. So it's starting to creep up like it's in the, it's not in the range that she's concerned which is the 140 over 90 it's in the range of 138 over 82 or 132 over 89 so it's 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 staying under the 140 over 90 range but i'm going to continue to keep an eye on it and check it uh every uh, two to three days um and i'm like keeping a log of it so that way when i go see her i can show her the log or whatever she wants you know she wants to see the log um i have my next appointment with her next monday and i have my next i have my next biophysical profile on christmas eve so excited um we're getting really close i am i, I do have a confession i am so miserable like my emotions are up and down and i'm blessed and happy to be pregnant i'm blessed and happy to have carried her this far like I'm in in just what three, well two weeks and two days I will be full term. I'm so blessed to have carried her this far and she's she's thriving in there. But I am miserable and I'm so ready to give birth. It's not even funny. I can't get comfortable at nighttime. I pregnancy insomnia is so real. Um, I'm up at least for a couple of hours a, a, throughout the night. Um, it's when I get up to go to the bathroom. When I get up and go to the bathroom, it's over. I'm up. I can't go back to sleep. Um, and when I do, it's like a couple of hours before I have to be up to go to work. So just imagine me trying not to go into a deep sleep because I don't want to miss my alarm to be, you know, because I don't want to be late to work. So it is a struggle right now. Um, and I'm struggling, you know, at the end of this pregnancy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, you know, who has thought this. I'm not afraid to say it out loud. I know going through IVF, your mind is kind of like, well, mine's, let me, let me only speak for me. Mine's was kind of like trained to not complain because I had to go through so much to even get pregnant. But um, I saw someone's post on Facebook the other day and her doctor basically told her that it's okay to, you know, to, to be frustrated. Pregnancy is not um, easy. So when I read that, I was like, oh, my God, I have to say it out loud to myself. And I said it out loud to myself, like, I'm miserable. And I felt so much better when I said it out loud. But um, nonetheless, I'm, I'm miserable, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy at the same time, if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. So that's all that matters. So, um, next video will be of the nursery. So, my phone's about to die. Next video will be of the nursery. And also, um, I would have had my, um, 34-week appointment, 35-week appointment, and my uh, biophysical profile. So, that'll all be wrapped up in one video. So, thank you so much, guys, for your support. I'll post in a few days.